all right everybody welcome back to another one so this is the part two or the alternative option to last week's video where we printed labels from microsoft word obviously we're being a paid software i always try to give you guys a free alternative unfortunately the options i planned on using are either no longer in available through google drive or will not be available much longer so we're going to pivot and use canva Canva is also a free option, so let's check it out. So we're going to log in. If you've never used it before, just create an account. It's free. I've used it for years. Never had any issues. First thing you do is go on the left side, create a design, and custom size. Now, the whole point of this is because there's certain sizes that are too small for Google Docs. So we're going to go with the smallest one that I comes to mind you know so that's going to be one inch by 0.5 and as you see i get this error here that's because i'm set to pixels so before you do that you want to set it to inches or millimeters we'll set it to 1.5 and we'll create a new design so i'm gonna throw some text in there i wouldn't use too many of these just because they may not translate too well for a thermal label but we'll stick with a basic one like this two colors should be fine so if you're doing a project where you need to have multiple different labels with the same style you know we'll use this as a template you can click this duplicate page and then you just select on the elements you want to update All right, so now you have the same template for all your labels. And I'm not going to cover margins or anything like that because this doesn't really have it, but it does have guides. I've simply grabbed the element and moved it over, and you can see the crosshairs. This is going to tell me it's a line up and down to left and right, and somewhat of a margin is going around. If you have all of yours all over the place, all your elements all over the place, you can select them, click position and then a line based on that so it's going to do one at a time if they're grayed out that means it's already aligned it's already utilizing that align to page option all right so all right so canva is pretty user friendly anything you want to do it should be able to do just keep in mind certain things will not translate well since the software can be used from anything from videos to creating black and white labels there's going to be a lot of options in here that won't look as well so just keep that in mind when you're designing your labels the next thing i'm going to cover for you guys is how to print them since this is a free software there are features that are limited you're not going to be able to print directly from the app but it's still pretty simple you just click download I prefer PDF, but you can do PNG or JPEG. The main difference here is these will be one file for every page. And I like the PDF because it keeps them all together and I can hit print once and it will print all the pages all at once. So we'll go ahead and go over to PDF. You can pick and choose which pages you want to export. I'm just going to leave that as all and we'll download it. Another reason I like doing the PDF options because I find that it prints a little bit easier from Chrome, which means you don't need extra software. So here are the labels. Now you can print as you normally would any other PDF, or you can just, you know, you can print all pages or just one. Now this is going to look a little blurry, but that's because the screen is big and this is a one by a half inch label. All right, so that wraps it up. If there's any questions on anything I've covered or didn't cover, please, as always, let me know, and I will follow up as fast as I can. If there's anything I left out and you guys feel the need to share it in the comments, definitely do that. And as always, I thank you for the likes, comments, and subscribes, and I'll see you in the next one.